Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Cavern Kings Beta 2733. Um, well, uh, if you've watched last episode or the previous episode, um, where I had so much trouble with lags uh, in arena mode or with sudden, pretty much sudden slowdown that got uh, continuously worse, well, I um, kind of confirmed that it only happens while I'm recording because right after that. Uh, go figure, right? I played another run as Bloop, and I played for, I think, eight minutes, and it went really well, and there was no sign of any slowdown whatsoever. Um, I have changed a few graphics options, uh, I mean, what little there is to configure, um, and well, we'll see if uh, that change anything. I guess if it doesn't change anything, this is not even going to be uploaded, so hooray, it worked, I guess, at this point. Uh, if you're watching this, you know, the problem has been resolved. I'm not not super confident, but uh, yes, computers are uh, moody, I guess, and um, will behave erratically. Oh wow, that bomb flew like, really far, I didn't expect that. Normally they feel really heavy, like a, they have a lot of inertia. Okay, get out of here, sniper. Your kind is not welcome here. Oh. Um. Okay, again. Huh. I guess uh, the, the, the secret is to try and throw those bombs at a relatively low arc. I'll try to... Uh, fling them too high up, because that's uh, not worked so well in the, in the past. Oh. Bomb. Oh. Okay. That was close. I mean, while, while I still can, I might as well try and um, keep the arena as intact as possible. I guess I already missed that... Uh, missed the bomb down there without even noticing. Go me. I mean, I guess I am somewhat busy with, uh, you know, survival and all that stuff. Although early on, survival is not the biggest issue, but it becomes an issue pretty early on, and pretty soon, usually. By the way, I've also checked, of course, um, my uh, previous recording, and um, on that first on that Thorax run, I think it was on Thorax, uh, where I first encountered the... Th oh, well. <laughs> Ouch. I bit my tongue there while talking. That's not good. Um, yeah, on that first Thorax run where I first encountered the slowdown, it happened around this timestamp, two minutes something. Uh, while the second time around, it happened after like four and a half minutes, maybe, roughly. So it's even inconsistent in that regard. Who knows what's causing it? Um, in case you're wondering, I've specifically deactivated V-Sync, and um, I'm also now not playing in full screen mode, um, unlike before. But uh, kind of a maximized window. Just uh, hope that I'm not going to end up uh, clicking outside the window, although the game should pause uh, in that event. Of course, it's gonna, still gonna throw me off a little bit. So let's just hope that doesn't happen. So far, it hasn't happened. Okay, uh, oh. didn't see any item there at first. I was gonna say, uh, please game, don't uh, cheat me out of my upgrades. Oh, okay. That uh, <laughs> almost ricocheted right back onto the terrain I wanted to save. Wow, okay. I guess uh, the game didn't have a chance to to start lagging there, because I died so early on. I mean, it was three and a half minutes in, so it, still that's uh, no proof one way or the other. So I guess I'm gonna do another run? Maybe, although I I have noticed that... Um, let's see what it says here. Self-defense mechanism, spats nearby. Yeah, well, spats nearby enemies with disorienting ink blast. I'm pretty sure that used to deal damage, although um, I 
try to pay attention to it because I wanted to see how much damage exactly. And um, it looked like it now only knocks enemies back and deals no damage at all. So, um, I mean, it's kind of neat, but still, dealing more damage uh, for just doing what you're expected to do, which is killing enemies non-stop, basically, uh, seems like a better deal. Since it does not come with a drawback in terms of, like, defense penalty or anything, as far as I know. Maybe I should really stop and read the descriptions for all the en uh, for all the characters. Shouldn't I? See uh, what might have been changed in my absence. That would probably be the smart thing to do. I could even do that, like, off-camera, before I start recording. Uh, I'll try to remember it. <laughs> remember doing it before I record the next episode. Okay. Another early sniper. Oh, wow. Uh, that guy died <laughs> um, sooner than I expected. It surprised me a little bit. Although it's obviously not uh, unwelcome at all. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice upgrade. Uh, paralysis curse. I mean, not that it's necessarily the greatest uh, power-up ever, but uh, it's a power-up that I didn't have to pay for, so that's always a plus. I've also uh, seen power-ups drop from non-elite enemies. Uh, actually, in that one run that I didn't rec record, uh, one. Yeah, the, uh, the arena run right before this recording, uh, where I did pretty well. Um, one of the first enemies I killed dropped a uh, power-up for me. It was just some, I don't know, rock worm maybe, or a rock bro? Definitely non-elite, so that can happen. Um, I guess it's a, it can also happen in, in a normal run, although uh, drop chances must have been drastically increasing for arena mode or very heavily rebalanced, let's put it at that. Okay, um, let's get whatever is in here. Okay, another paralysis first. I think... Oh wow, that's great actually, this golem's core um, providing you with a, with a shield that regenerates uh, whenever you're not taking damage for a certain amount of time. That's actually pretty huge. That helps with survivability so much, I had completely forgotten about that. It's actually the first time I've gotten this item. Um, after... now that I uh, started playing this game again. So, um, yeah. I completely forgot that was a thing, but it, it's actually one of the most useful items to have very many of, in terms of long-term long -term survivability. Okay, apparently I'm... This is the item that I'll keep getting now. Uh, it could be worse, it could be those, uh, what you call the harps that make you stun enemies upon level up. That's a, still a pretty useless item. I have gotten it before and uh, it seems to still do the same thing, so I don't know. Just the fact that, that you're not going to level up uh, very much very many, very many times after a certain point. Oh wow, there's one of those invisible, or near invisible uh, dudes again. Those are pretty scary. They also deal uh, devastating amounts of damage. Oh wow, all these golden chests. What's up with those? Not that I mind at all. Okay, and there are some some other items. Much appreciated. As much as I like paralysis curse. Oh wow, please let me jump up there. Thank you. Okay, I don't have quite enough money yet to afford that chest. So these elites here might help alleviate that. Also, thank you for the drops there. The health drops, that is. Okay. Well, we're up to uh, 4 minutes and 20, uh, 30 seconds. And no lag that I can see. It's still a solid 60 FPS. That's Quite encouraging, actually. Oh. Although it doesn't necessarily have to mean 
anything at all. But so far I'm pretty confident that it's uh, actually been resolved. Oh well, uh, don't fall in that hole. That would be quite unfortunate. Um. Okay. Oh. Well. Oh. Oh. Okay. I dodged some of the stuff that was being flung at me. Oh. Not most of it. Okay. It's a, one very real danger. Is, has always been getting overwhelmed with uh, all the snipers shooting. Uh, wall piercing shots all across the entire arena. It's always been a problem. So far, it looks like I'm managing them relatively well. I mean, I'm not dead yet. Almost six minutes in. That's, um, it's gotta count for something. Man, I really need to go down here. Oh wow. <laughs> God. God. Nope! Huh, <laughs> well, of course. Should have figured there was an exploding guy in there. That was really stupid of me. I was greedy. I mean, kind of greedy, but I also needed to get some gems. And by just staying up there, all the enemies gathering downstairs uh, didn't really help me. Oh, well, that was a bit unfortunate. Ah, uh, yeah, that was uh, poorly, poorly thought out on my part. Sorry about that. That run could have gone places. Man, that golem core. Uh, now that I'm, I've been reminded of its existence, uh, I'm gonna be longing for one all the time and not getting any more. Of course, because that would be nice. In the game. Oh, please let me pick that up. Okay, well that was uh, relatively close. That I was able to pull that off. Okay, let's get some health back here. Okay, you need to go right now. Thank you. Okay. I'm really liking the fact that they made those bombs interactable. Um, they. I'm actually not sure if they hurt enemies. I've not been paying attention to that. I don't remember, like, specifically seeing that happening. So it might be that it's not the case. No TNT and, and such explosives do um, hurt enemies, so I guess uh, why wouldn't the, the bombs, right? I mean, they are meant as a trap, basically, for players, of course. Go away. That was pretty close again. Problem is that enemies, uh, even those tiny little eyebots, are gonna bounce you around like crazy. So long as you're in contact with them. And we don't seem to have any shortage of, uh, of treasure chests here. That's a good thing. I mean, I can always... Uh, nope, nope, no, no, no. So bad. I should have, I don't know, aimed a little lower. That was bad. So yeah. Uh, well, we have no shortage of treasure chests. So as soon as we get enough money, we should be able to um, buy another one. That means pretty much guaranteed items at a somewhat steady interval. If I manage to pick up most of the gems that I, uh, that drop. Oh well, and yeah, I failed to notice that uh, bomb up there. That was completely my fault. I might have been able to make it in time, but yeah, really need to pay more attention to what's falling down from the ceiling here. I mean, obviously, my immediate survival is uh, more important than uh, trying to keep the arena intact. Well, I only only partially managed to do that anyway. Okay, another paralysis curse here. Critical hits inflict enemies with a paralyzing curse. Okay. Uh, that sounds like the same tooltip I'm used to. Um, 
Um, not sure if I can even hit critically without uh, the uh, Cyclops side that um, increases critical hits. Oh, bye bye chest, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that's um, hmm. well, one of the downsides of this. Uh, I mean, there's really only downsides to the fact that parts of the arena can be uh, permanently destroyed. Uh, that one should probably not be a problem. Probably no problem. Um, okay, this upgrade, thank you. Although I really could use some help. But uh, I'm not gonna be picky at this point. Okay, get that help, please. I guess at this point I've pretty much given up on the idea of uh, preventing any destruction because, uh, yeah, well, I've really reached the point where I need to be worried about, about my survival and I'm starting to drop frames. All of a sudden it went from 60 to 30, right there. So, um, I guess it's completely random if it happens and I'm also dead, by the way, in case you didn't know. Uh, so yeah, well, that's unfortunate. I guess, I don't know, should I even upload this? I guess, maybe as a little bonus episode. Slowdown really only kicked in at the very end, so you got like, what was it, two runs? Or even three? I don't even remember anymore. Well, at least two runs of, uh, well, more or less successful arena. Really not that successful at all. I mean, the first one had promise, but, you know. Um, that's the nature of the game. You're gonna lose most games and then every once in a while you're, you're gonna have a super great game. And uh, I'm still waiting for one of those, but uh, I'm sure they're gonna happen. Um, so yeah, uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please um, hit like, comment, subscribe, and see you very soon. Until then, have a wonderful time and bye-bye.